Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday, August 25th. I have the date right today. And today it's looking like, yeah, it looks like that market wants to pull back, but it's not ready just yet, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and look at the stocks. I do have my Stock Whisperer t-shirt on, bullish above, bearish below, no thinking, right? So if you guys want to learn more about the training pit and trading around the dark pool, check us out at thedarkpools.com under services. Hello, everything is monetizable. I also have the, hey Asif, I have the park bench up behind me for a little bit of patience. There's going to be a nice move coming. However, just be patient with it, right? This market, as I said before, if we'd broken that 340 level, we could be heading up to 360. And stay tuned for my video coming out tonight at 6 p.m. The market is bullish until it isn't, all right? So check that one out. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I have the SPY on for today. We do have, uh, this is, yellow line is the volume session profile from, good morning, Chile. Yeah, we're going to talk about Apple for sure. Um, and we'll also talk about Microsoft and Tesla. Tesla's rocking it to the downside. Apple as well today. And there's two good reasons why. But let's go ahead and look at the SPY. So Apple is definitely pulling it down, but Microsoft is surging and taking it up. So right now, I have this on a nine minute chart right here. Let's go ahead and scale it a little better. So you can see, I have all these crazy moving averages. Everyone's like, Jane, why do you have them? Look at how this one is held as support, right? Is this going to hold as support or are we going to see a further pullback down to this 341.92 area? Uh, if it does drop below that, I think a target would be down here at that 341. But very likely we could pull back further down here and then surge on up. I do have my targets up here, 345.38 and 345.50. I think there's a good chance that we could pull back, see some volume come in, and we will surge up even higher, up to 345 tomorrow. Yeah, we'll look at that for sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at Apple and Tesla, two of the major ones as well. And we'll look at the Qs. So Qs really is the only one that's really holding green on the day today, which Microsoft is really pulling it up. Microsoft is the number one holding there. And Apple is pulling it down. So we do have, let's go ahead and look at the other holdings there and see how the rest of them are doing. I could change that to the correct spelling there. Uh, so we have Apple, Microsoft, Amazon is to the upside, Facebook, Google, Intel, NVIDIA, Adobe, Netflix, PayPal. So we have some that are a little bit mixed, but for the most part, the major holdings are up, which is definitely going to pull it up. Surprise that it's only up 30%, actually. So Apple, Apple and Tesla, they had X dividend dates for the stock splits that happened Tesla on Friday and Apple yesterday. So what does that mean? If anybody buys it between now and the 31st, they will not receive those shares. So for the Apple split, it is not going to receive those shares. If you guys do not know about the volume session profile, it's pretty cool because you can see it draws a boundary, right? Like a lower boundary right here, which will act as support and an upper one up here. Many times, like the Bollinger Band, it will go from that lower level up to the higher level, test it, so you could have a nice profit potentially taking it from 494 up to 498 if you're trading it in that manner. We are below the volume session profile for today, and Apple could very well have a healthy pullback to it going forward. Because it's so far extended, if we do break below here, 491, I would look for that test down here, 470.32. These yellow lines are where the volume was in control for those days. You guys can see, hey, once we broke here, we went up and then we continued surging up. Sometimes it will take out the prior day highs. And the ones that are extended to the right are the ones that have not been broken on the way down. So we have one to the upside, majority of the volume is below us. 
If we break this one, next potential target to the downside could be this 469. So it's pretty cool if you guys do not already know about that. Also, we have Tesla here. So Tesla, same scenario. You see Tesla had this high volume doji. Let's look at Apple. Apple had a higher volume yesterday as well. And now we're below all of this volume. So that would lead me to believe that that is big time selling volume. All right, let's go to Tesla. So Tesla, we came below, closed just above this high right here. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. And now we have the potential move right on down here, right? To 1899, 1900 area. If it does fail, below the low of today watch out we might have a downward turn down to that 1900 area that would be my target for a tesla short all right it did have it had weakness yesterday had a nice bounce with some buying that came up and held it there at the 2000 mark and then closed just above however we are below yesterday's profile let's get rid of this move it up here so we're below this volume profile, this volume profile, this volume profile, this volume profile. So the past four days, we are below all of that. Our next potential target to the downside right here, as well as we see that it's holding right at that four EMA, could pull on back to the eight EMA. Microsoft, off to the races, right? We are testing these upper levels. We have this trend line that I drew just from the tops up here. Actually, let me put it right here. I want it right there. So we are testing these upper levels. It's not able to break above it just yet. That is at 216.50. We would really need to break that with a lot of volume for me to be convinced that this is going to go ahead and break out. Does look like a nice ascending triangle for sure, but we have all of this volume, like the biggest volume day two days ago. We're above that volume profile, but we're not able to break above. When we hit 216, every time we're hitting it, it tends to pull back. So that leads me leery in saying, hey, Microsoft, long and strong at the moment. The SPY, for sure, we're looking, oh, I don't like the, what they did to the new system here. SPY, let me get rid of those volume profiles for you guys, because it's busy enough on this chart. With all the other, so again, if we pull back further, we have that potential move, like I said, to go ahead, come on up, break above 344.60, which is where we were pre-market. Let's go ahead and turn on our 24-hour hour candle. So you can see we came up there, we pulled back, and now we're hitting this upward trend line that we held all last week, right? For two weeks, this was our trend line. We've come down and we've touched it, and some volume came into it. You'll see on that trend line, we had volume coming into it. Right here, right here, let's move this, right, move it up. So we had volume coming in on this EMA as well. So right now, this could be strategic positioning, right? Yeah, it looks like the overall um, averages are moving down, but this is pretty much holding as strong support right here. So if we're able to go ahead and hold this 342, 45 level, I would feel pretty confident, in my opinion, swinging this to the long side tonight. Uh, because it came back, it's consolidated, had some volume coming in down here, and that was the high of pre-market yesterday. So would we continue up and potentially surge up? Oh, somebody's here. Surge up and hit to the upside? A possibility. Yeah, you know what, Joseph? Uh, they already know what's going to happen with the market. It doesn't matter who's speaking. They've already laid their groundwork for what they're going to do. So just because he's speaking, um, and a great site, if you guys do not know it already, Forex Factory. You guys can see, just go, it's free. You can see the global announcements that are happening. We did have consumer confidence lower than expected, but new home sales were up and surging. So if we look at our calendar, you just click on the calendar here, what's going on tomorrow, US, durable goods and oil inventories. Then we also have unemployment claims. That might be higher than expected. We had that last week as well. It was a little bit higher than expected and yet the market just surged to the upside. So even though we have Powell speaking, uh, nine o'clock on 
Thursday doesn't necessarily mean that it will be a negative for the market. He might turn around and say, hey, this is going to be amazing. We've come up with a strategy and we're going to go ahead and help the economy in this way. Can you guys hear me okay? It looks like my live stream is frozen on my end for watching it. So let me know if you guys are having problems in the chat if it's working for you. Okay, so let's continue forward. We also have SFIX. Let's look at SFIX for everything is monetizable. All right, so SFIX. Let's look at it here. Let's look at it on the daily chart and see where we are. It looks like we just had some big volume coming into it. It did hit our 50 day moving average and we are crossing up. We have the four, the faster moving average crossing up. It did hold above it higher than normal volume yesterday has earnings coming up, but it's quite a ways away. So if we're able to go ahead and control uh, close above here, if we're able to go ahead and break this 26 level, you can see it was resistance back here, really 2540. If we're not able to close above this 2540, we might have some issues with it. Let's go ahead and look at it on a shorter time frame, 40, actually 45 minutes. You guys can see it, there was a big volume that came in right here. So keep that on watch. 2540 also happens to be the 20 SMA here. That's important. Even though it just crossed above the 50 simple moving average, Awesome, thanks for letting me know it's working fine on your end. I can't see it, it's frozen, but that's all good, as long as you guys can see it. All right, BSX as well. So BSX, let's go to our daily chart, see it. All right, let's get rid of this one, remove, put this to the upside. It looks like we've got a bit of a trend line here. Yeah, Neo. So we've gapped up here, it has crossed. It might come back down to the moving averages, down to 39. Uh, it looks like it came down to 39.11, so it might come back down and then continue to the upside. I would really watch for a break above 39.50. If it closes strong above 39.50, potential move or swing to the upside there on Boston Scientific. Let's look at OMI. OMI looks like pretty strong resistance right up here right we have a double top and it keeps selling off and it's oh it looks a bit yeah i'll add facebook like is it curling over right is it going to curl over i don't know had nice support back here is it going to create that m formation to the downside or will it break out but watch for it to break above 1710 Lots of doji days here, not a lot of volume on this one, Owens Minor, medical distributors. So I would watch for it on that end. Okay, and STM. All right, STM Electronics. So STM, oops, oopsies. Let's go back and look this one. Not true, Stephanie. No. I will show you actually what will happen. You had to have been owner of record, much like a dividend. Okay, so Apple dividend for split. All right. If you're owner of record by August 24th, Right? So if you're buying it now, you are not the owner of record by August 24th. What is today's date? August 25th. Not only that, but to become owner of record for a, for a uh, stock, you have to do trade date plus two days. So if we back it up and we look here, just for example, so the 24th. So you have to have owned it here. You want to trade it on the 18th, and then 19th is a day of settlement, and 20th is a day of settlement, and then you become the owner of record. Oh, excuse me, back one more day. So right here. So you would trade it on the 19th latest to purchase it, two days of settlement, and then you're the owner of record on the 24th. Does that make sense to you? 
Stephanie. So for both Tesla and Amazon, excuse me, Tesla and Apple, it's too late to buy it to receive those extra shares. That's what I think a lot of people do not realize is that if you buy it now, you're not going to receive those shares at split. Because like a dividend, these shares are going on a dividend type basis. So you have to be owner of record. And right now it's too late to buy it to receive the shares in the split. Does that make sense for you, Stephanie? So if you buy it today, you will still have one share on August 31st. You see? So you won't receive the dividend there. Okay, let's look at, uh, we have STM up. All right, so here we go. Well, that's, that's part of the split. Look it up, do further research, go to Investopedia and do further research. So we have an ascending triangle right here. Yeah, you could do that, Julia. Um, so we have an ascending triangle right here. If we're able to go ahead and break above 3030, then it could continue to the upside. Watch for a breakdown of this trend line right here. And then if we do break down support of 2850. So we're on the Q holdings. I want to go back and see what the SPY is doing as well. Because it's, it's been hovering there around. I like to, I'm watching it to see because it, keep, it keeps bouncing off of here, and then we're, we're playing moving average pong. It's going like this. Came down, oops. It came down, we bounced, came down, we bounced. Are we going to come back down again and then bounce up? We will see what they do later in the day. All right, let's go ahead and look at Facebook Fastly. All right, Fastly is rocking it today. It looks like you hit a trend line on the daily, so let's go ahead and check that out. Yeah, all right, so we are up above that today, and it surged off of that 50 simple moving average. It's really been holding that as support, and we are heading to the upside here. If we're able to go ahead and take over this right here, we might see a test of that 94.50, and then a little bit of a pullback, and then continuation on up if we break 94.50 again to uh, 108. All right, let's look at Facebook as well. Facebook, nice. Broken out of some of this trend line congestion coming on up here and potentially test, we're testing the 279 area, so high of the year. It might very well come test it, right, up here and then maybe pull back to 277.50 area and then go on up and we might start just heading up in this channel right there of trend lines. Very cool call out. Thank you, Joseph. And let's look at NEO as well. I'm gonna have to mention to them that it's really slow. Yeah, NEO broke out, 1675. It looks like it's just stalled there. Does that look like that to you? I'm wondering if we're going to see anything in my favorite dark pool area. So we came up here, high volume candle, some more volume right here, and it's really holding below that candlestick. Came up here and we had a bit more volume. So I would look to see, hey, are we going to be able to go ahead and close above 1678 today? That would be a price that I would look uh, if looking to potentially swing it long. In my opinion, I would look at that price right there. All right, workhorse. All right, workhorse, nice, taking it to the moon. Let's go back on our daily chart here. Nice, taking out all of this consolidation area and has, looks like it should have a nice move from 1780 on up to potentially that 19, 
25 area, 19, 20 area, and then on up to 20. Oh, you know what, Julia? There's always opportunities. Middle of the day for me is not the best time, so I like to watch. You can see SPY is now break, testing 343 as well. Microsoft is up at 215. How's Apple doing? Is it recovering a bit? No. Tesla is still heading to the downside. All right. And what else do you guys want to look at? DKNG. I always want to say Duncan's, but it's DraftKings. So DraftKings, similar chart to Workhorse, but I like it better because it has come up. We do have a bit of congestion over here. Next test would likely be that 4015, and then on up to 4160 area, 4150, and then 42, and maybe 4350 after that. So nice potential moves there. All right, what else? Hey, you know what, Stemmy? Let's go ahead and look at it. Investopedia stock split dates. How about that? There you go. Publicly shareholder two for one. Key takeaways. Stockholder will have first stock splits. It doesn't talk about the dates though the dividend. Here we go. Hold on. June 20th. It's not giving us anything about the X split dates. Talks about the... It's not even any more curious. X dividend for stock With the dividends, you have to be owner of record by that date. I don't see it. I'll look for it and see if I can put it in the comments for you, okay? Might take a bit more research. All right. And let's look at GPS. Wow. All right. It's hitting the 425 up here. We do have earnings coming up. It might pull back from this point, right? It did have that nice surge up, went ahead, gacked up. So if it can hold this at 1680, they might hold it around right here and lay some positions right there. So let's look at it. Um, yeah, look at that. It's sort of stalling up here, right at that round dollar. But that 1680, this is an area I would watch that as well. Um, it might be right there. I would watch to see where we close from here. It's stalled up at that $17 mark as well. Yeah, Intel, we looked at Intel a little bit too. Yeah, uh, for DraftKings and Workhorse, it did pop up, yeah. And AMD, you know what, a lot of the market is popping right now. It's really Apple that has been pulling everything down. Um, Microsoft is down and, excuse me, Microsoft is up. If we can break that 216.30 area, we will be seeing 245, 250, 260 in the market, in my opinion, going forward before we see the downturn. It's a matter of a little bit of patience though, right? All right. And in one TD America conflicts with that, so it'd be great to have clarity. Yeah, for sure. Definitely, I'll look into it, Stephanie. And if you have, uh, you could even call them and see, and they would probably tell you better, but I'm not licensed, so I'm going based on dividends for um, stocks. So you have to be owner of record by that date in order to receive it. And as this is a dividend in relation to a share that you own, you would likely have to be owner of record by that date. However, I could be wrong. Okay? Maybe they will just, I have no idea, maybe they would give you cash in return for the difference. All right. So, yep. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and call it an end for today. Do not forget to check out my video coming out at 6 o'clock tonight all about how the market is bullish until it isn't. Also, on Thursday, we will have trade ideas coming in live from California with Steve Gomez uh, to do a walkthrough for you. So if you guys want to have any, uh, if you guys have any questions on that, please go ahead and ask them at that time on Thursday afternoon. Otherwise, Carpe Profit sees those profits one trade at a time, and I will see you all tomorrow at 12.15. Have a great day. Bye-bye.